the drone gives you that bird's eye view. The drone captures all kinds of things you don't necessarily get. When you do just the wires in the ground, you're getting data. You're not getting where the sunlight is. You're not getting rain. I mean, these things can be recorded, but to see it in real life, to see it firsthand, to see where pedestrians are going, to see the, the short circuits the traffic are doing. You know, there's, there's a route into and out of the school that's planned on paper, but vehicle traffic is finding its own way. And the drone tells you all that, tells you the full story of where, how traffic is getting into the, the school and how it's getting out and what that impact is doing on the main road. I guess mainly it has to do with safety. Uh, seeing that this is a school complex where there's probably north of a thousand students on the campus each and every day. And then you take into account faculty, parents dropping the children off and whatnot. But you also have to think about weather. We did deal with a little bit of wind when we were out there and that obviously can affect the drone in terms of battery life and safety of the public. What the video shows is the different times that traffic is coming onto and off of the campus. We did two different shots in the morning, so there's two different start times between the four schools. And then it shows when traffic's leaving. It also shows the buses and how the buses are influencing that. Most importantly, it shows the pedestrians. We saw cars that would enter the campus and stop 100 feet in. And that one stop, so they could let their kids out, they let them out in both directions. Now you're stopping traffic trying to exit the campus and stopping traffic trying to enter the campus. When we have the drone footage up there, you can see this in real time. You can see these tiny little things that don't seem like they mean anything, but they mean the world in, in this instance.